our final candidate in Ward 4, Suzanne Hilton. serving as your Ward 4 Councillor for the past seven years. I share your concern about the growth that has been directed at us by the province and the region that will result in doubling our population. I have worked hard to limit the impact of development in our neighbourhoods and to preserve our small town character. At the same time, we have worked to build infrastructure that meets the needs of our growing population. Together, we have worked to improve our roads, install sidewalks, upgrade our parks, and build new ones that all families can enjoy. We also built new sports facilities and an up-to-date fire hall. I am deeply involved in the revitalization of our downtown core into a pedestrian-friendly business and cultural center. I was lead counselor on the successful restoration of our old town hall into the Lobovic Center for Arts and Entertainment, 19 on the Park, which has made a positive contribution to heritage preservation, <coughs> downtown revitalization, and arts and culture. I am also proud of the trail system that has taken shape around town, providing us with excellent walking and biking opportunities. Much work still needs to be done, especially in continuing to develop our employment and commercial lands and when affordable, to build further infrastructure. We need to meet the needs of our youth, seniors, and growing diverse community. That's the big picture. But now I'd like to speak to you, uh, to you, to speak to my home ward of 32 years. I want to elaborate on some of the accomplishments in Ward 4 and what is planned for the next term. Both Rupert and Summerfield Parks have been renovated and new parks and parkettes built. We look forward to the completion of the Madame Parkettes to the south. Rupert Avenue will be completed next year. Road work in the hamlet of Bloomington is underway and I have successfully pushed to have Elm, Fairview, Glad Park and many of the older roads included in the five-year capital plan. Ward 4 residents continue to work collaboratively on design plans and traffic calling, and appreciate my determination to make our roads safe. My positive working relationship with the York Regional Police helps bring enforcement to our neighborhoods. My neighbors welcome my newsletters, bringing them information on our progress. I am fully aware of the need to develop the Western approach, particularly the old Anderson lands on Main Street. The construction of the Belcomo condominiums will be a welcome addition to the Western Approach next year. Now that the Highway 48 intersection is complete, the town will be erecting welcoming gateway signage to store. A concern raised by residents is the protection of the older areas. Recognizing this issue, I strongly supported the town's position to put in place proper zoning and regulation for infill development to protect the character of our neighborhoods. More detail on accomplishments, visions, and objectives can be found on my website. Remember, we did not ask for this growth, but it is here, and we must stay ahead of it through good planning and careful financial management. I believe we are well on our way to maintaining and producing a sustainable community that residents will be proud to call home for decades to come. You and I have reason to be proud of our collaborative successes and I will build on this record of success if re-elected for a third term. I have the experience, the knowledge, and the determination to make things happen. Vote for Suzanne Hilton, Councillor, Ward 4, October 23.